An airplane accelerates from a velocity of 21 meters at a constant rate of 3 meters per second per second over 535 meters. What is its final velocity? Let's go ahead and do that one. Okay, so an airplane accelerates from a velocity, so from a velocity, our initial velocity is 21 meters per second at a constant rate of our acceleration is 3 meters per second squared over a distance of 535 suvat. Hmm, I've never heard of that. Is, does the symbol look like the Greek delta or is it a different symbol? I would have picked up that you were from the UK just by the fact you said maths, because that's not a thing. That's not a thing we say in the. Uh, I mean, I understand it because you know I have. We t we used it in engineering. We said it in engineering, but uh, uh, that that's a uh, okay. Oh, so an S. Okay, excellent. I learn I learn something every time I do one of these as well. Oh, okay. Well, there we go. Hmm. Oh, okay. So it's an acronym. Oh, well, good. That's cool. That's a truly, that's a truly wonderful thing about this entire platform is I just learned something about how they teach physics in the UK. All right. So there we go. We have all of our we have all of our stuff. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now, this is a variation on the equations that I've been using before, but trust me on this one. Vf squared equals Vi squared plus 2ad. Now, where did I get that? Uh, you know, uh, other people who were smarter than me and, uh, and uh, you know, did this work before the 7,000 years ago that I was born figured it out and I have used it over and over and over again to uh, to figure these things out so it's gonna kind of suck but if you memorize these things they will uh, they will get stuck in your brain and you'll use them over and over again but so we know our initial velocity and we have this new equation to solve for it okay it is a little wonky and there is a very long way to get from the equations we were using to this one, but uh, I have found that it does nothing but uh, confuse literally everyone. Uh, no one I've taught has ever been helped by me explaining that whole thing. So here's our equation, and let's solve as best we can. We're looking for our final velocity, right? And so what we have is, let's see, we need to be down to only one unknown in our equation before we can solve it. So let's plug in everything we have and see if that gives us a chance. So we have 21 meters per second, and we square it. Okay, sorry. Okay, we square it plus 2 times our acceleration and our distance 535 meters okay now let's figure out what we expect to happen okay since we have a positive acceleration and an initial positive velocity that means our final velocity should be bigger than this our velocity should be bigger than this and it makes sense too right like we're accelerating in the same direction that we are traveling and we're traveling a pretty long way all right, so like even at just this, this is going to take, you know, 50 seconds, somewhere in there. All right, so let's go ahead and punch these numbers out and see if that works out. Okay, so we have our final velocity. Yeah, final velocity squared equals 21 squared, 441, plus... 2 times 3 times 535. Now, it's okay to do your math like this in your calculator because of the order of operations. It's going to multiply these numbers together first and then add them up. So that gives us 3651. Okay? 
So our final velocity squared is equal to 3651, and if you're tracking your uh, units, it's meters squared per second squared. So we need to square root both these things so we end up with the units of meters per second. Okay? Now, let's go ahead and do that. Let's just let's just hit square root. Where did I where did I put that thing? Square root of our answer, and that gives us 60.42 meters per second. So that actually worked out exactly to what I expected to see. I expected to see that this would be bigger than this, that it sped up, and that's exactly what we got.